studies that show that historical CO2 levels lag behind temperature changes, not lead them. Well, yes, there's merit to that. In fact, uh, in the pre-industrial age, the CO2 response to temperature uh, was that the temperature would go up and CO2 would go up. And, and it's, or if the temperature went down, CO2 would go down. And the reason for that is when the temperature went up, the whole biosphere revved up and emitted CO2, and we had more CO2 in the atmosphere. So we understand that process. The problem for the science community is in the post-industrial age, the CO2 rise is preceding the temperature rise. So two different things happened. One pre-industrial, where temperature was driving the CO2, post-industrial where the CO2 is driving temperature, which means a completely different physical, biological process is going on. And we don't understand what the consequence of that change is. It is a fundamental change to how the Earth works and how the Earth's radiation balance works. And so, since we don't understand it, we're very concerned because we don't see any restraining force on continued increase in temperature due to continued increase in CO2. And that's a problem.